Midnight Beauty and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a Too Faced palette. Now this is the Then and Now um, Too Faced palette. It was from their birthday celebration collection. Um, they are celebrating 20 years of producing eyeshadows. So this palette has 10 of the original shades with a new formula and then 10 of the original shades reinvented. So uh, I'm going to open this and we can get started in this review slash uh, first impressions. So let's get started. So I'm I'm open it now. Um, and this is what the palette itself looks like. It is very sparkly, um, and these are the colors. So the colors up here are the original um, colors, and then these are the original colors reinvented. So I'm going to zoom you guys in closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. So now you're closer and I'm going to get started with this palette. So the first color I'm going to be going in with is from the Originals Reinvented part of the palette. It is called I Can't Even. And it is kind of this mauve color. I'm going to put that directly into, I'm going to put that directly into my crease. So, first things first is that this powder is very pigmented. Pig so, first things first, that this powder. So, first thing first is this eyeshadow is very pigmented and it is didn't have any fallout, so that's good. Um, it was a little splotchy, but I kept blending it, so it's very blendable and made it less splotchy. Um, and yes, now I'm going to do the other side, and yes, continue. up on this side as you can tell up here I kind of uh, went outside of where I was planning on going but I, it, w it was flexible it is fixable because um, the powders are very blendable and buildable so it wasn't too hard to fix and I'm sure I can find another color that will help me blend it out better now I'm going to take the color um, Dirt Bag from the original 10 and I'm going to put that on the outer section of my eye right here. and it is in the original 
and it is this like metallic light blue. And I'm going to put that in the center of my, not center, but inner corner of my eye. Oh. Oh. Ooh. It's like a, f ooh. I like that. That's pretty. Ooh. Ah. When you're low-key basically saying what the palette's name is. When you apply it. Ooh. That's so pretty. This color would be really good for someone who likes doing cut creases. It's a really nice blue metallic. It's very like fashion forwardist too. This is my good eye. This eye has kind of just not... It's been suffering, okay guys? I know. It's not... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try to fix this eye real quick. Now for the last color on this palette, I'm going to take Gretchen, which is in the Originals Reinvented color, and it's kind of this nudish color, and I'm just going to use that to kind of blend out, oh, that was a lot darker than I was expecting, oh, that was probably a mistake, uh, but we're going with it now, because... Here we are. Um, yeah, that was that was probably a mistake. actually decided that I'm going to take a little bit of dirt bag and I'm going to go underneath my eye with it. Now I'm going to go put on some eyeliner. So now I'm going to go put on some eyeliner to finish this eye look because I don't think So now I'm going to go So now I'm going to put on some eyeliner because what's a look like this without liner? So, I'll be right back. So now I'm back and I have eyeliner and some mascara on. So now I am back, I have eyeliner and mascara on, and I kind of did a very bad job of putting on eyeliner today, so I'm sorry for that, but this is the final eyeshadow look. So now I'm going to give you my opinions after working with these shadows. They're very pigmented. They're very pigmented. So now I'm going to give you my opinion on the eyeshadows. They're very pigmented, but can be a little splotchy, as you can kind of tell here. Um, it's a little splotchy, but I also don't use primers, so if you use a primer maybe that will fix it but I did not use a primer because I don't usually use primers because I want to see what the shadows can do there was a little bit of fallout but I believe that was with the uh, color ah and that is a very metallic shadow so I was kind of expecting it the packaging is very nice it 
it's sparkly so it has this texture it's a pretty big palette though like this is my head and it's almost the size of my head there are I believe 20 shadows in here yes there are 20 shadows in this palette um, it is a heavy palette and it has this nice uh, I don't know what like mag it's it has a magnet strip to close it which is very nice um they the the shadows in the palette are very blendable and they're really pretty um but the only like neutral shade in this palette is gretchen and i use gretchen up here and it was kind of more of a like brownie red tone and then more of a nude which i thought it was in the palette um but most of the other col colors are either metallics or crazy colors um so like i can't even is like a mauve color and then gg is this really like lavender purple color and then trixie is a also a lavender color and those are what seems to be the new the non shimmer colors in this palette so if you don't really do like really high glam or you're not into color um i really wouldn't recommend this palette um because i know for me i like to play with color sometimes but it's usually not my go-to if you look at my go-to you can see what colors i normally go to but i would definitely use gretchen again just not how i would how i use it today definitely will use i can't even again i want to um use glitter donut that color looks great and i think it would be a great inner corner color um awe from the ooh and awe portion of the palette over here um i think i would use again because it is it is really pretty and it 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 is like the light shimmer color which i really like um villain i feel like i can use ice queen i feel like i can use um um not safe for work i believe i can also use twinkie and pixie dust i think i would use again and same with dirt bag um the colors i really don't see myself using um or chill out ooh from the ooh and ah then ooh from the ooh la la um then there's this color which i don't want to say the name of but it is this color um it is shady the b word and i'm not about to say that on my channel because i like to keep this channel as friendly uh, family friendly as possible so if you want to look up that name you can um zaza i don't think i would use um and then i don't think i would use reality star so if you guys want to see me do an eye look with the colors i don't think i would use please let me know and i will get on to that um but now i'm going to show you um all the swatches on my arm and that will be a, the end of this video. So let's get into uh, these swatches. So now I'm going to show you and swatch all these colors. So yeah. So I zoomed you out because I feel like that might be the easiest way to do this. I'm going to swatch with my fingers and not on the brush because I feel like that might be the easiest. So I'm going to start with the... Uh, um, I'm going to start with the original colors, the 1998 colors, and I'm going to start from Twinkie and work my way down to the uh, ooh and ah side of the palette. So here is Twinkie. Here is Pixie Dust. Here is Dirt Bag. Dirt Bag is really super pigmented. This is Rizzo. Also super pigmented. And that's actually more of a mauve color. 
And that is more of a mauve color than I thought it was. It's more of a brown, but I wasn't expecting that because it looks more like a purpley brown, if that makes sense. Um, this is Zaza. This is a uh, temper trim. Temper Temper is the name of this powder. Ooh, oh, that's that's really pretty. JK will be using that. I don't know if that was a color that I said I wouldn't be using, but it is. That is a color I'm going to use. Uh, next color is Trix, Trixie. Um, it's more of a lavender light color. It's kind of pinky. This is a uh, villain. This is ice queen. And now this is both ooh and ah together. So those are the colors from the Too Faced 1998 side of the palette. That would be all of these colors up here. Now I'm going to do it on the back of this arm because I think that's going to be easier. And I'm going to do the 2018 colors. We're going to start with Glitter Donut and make two Ooh La La. So this is Glitter Donut. This is Lost Boy. This is Not Safe for Work. This is Gretchen. This is Reality Star. This is I Can't Even. This is uh, Gigi. This is Shady, the word I won't say. This is uh, Chill Out. And this is a combination of Ooh and La La. I'm gonna try to get a little more of La La on because I think I kind of just got a lot of ooh. That's where I put ooh. That's, or that's where I put La La, that's ooh. And then here are the rest of the colors. So my opinion between the two colors, between the colors, they're very similar as they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be um, like recreations of them, of the colors, but I mean slightly different because you don't want to buy the same color, if that makes sense. But I can also say that the 1998 shadows are kind of more, um, what I say, solid of a color. They're less splotchy from what I can tell. They're, in, they're the super pigmented ones. There are some super pigmented, pigmented ones of the 2018, but I think I personally like the 1998 colors better. Um, they just, they're very soft, both of them. I assume they use the same formula, it's just, you know, not the same colors. That's what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, the... It, the eyeshadow looks really pretty and um, if you know how to use eyeshadow, I feel like this palette can be very good for you. If you don't, I think you may want to start with a different palette. Um, but this is also, from what my understanding, is a limited time only palette. So if you really, really liked it, then I recommend getting it because it is a good palette. But... Um, 
it is a good palette. Um, it is a good palette, but if you don't really know how to use makeup, I think you'll be finding it hard to work with if you don't know how, what colors look good together. This palette, though, will be a really good palette if you want to play with makeup. This palette will be a really good palette if you want to play with makeup. If you are a performer, I feel like this can be very helpful. Or if you, um do a lot of glam looks because honestly all of these colors lend themselves really well to the glam glam looks like this horde oh, these colors up here and those colors and these colors are really good glam look colors so this is a very glam palette it is not a neutral palette whatsoever um it is not a neutral palette whatsoever. I am not going to pass that off with that. It has a lot of shimmers. It is, I think it is very much towards, toward, toward. it is, um, it is very much marketed for the glam side of makeup. So well, with that, we are in conclusion of the video. If you have any uh, suggestions on eyeshadow looks that you want to see me do with this palette, please let me know in the down bar. If you have experience with this palette, please put your opinion down below. I would love to hear it. If I would love to hear it, and it could help someone else out if they're trying to decide if they want to buy this palette. If you liked the video, please like the like button down below. If you want to see more of my content, you can click on one of the two boxes over here or my face over here. If you want to see more of my life, you can check out my social media. There will be a link down below and my names are right here. I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember to be yourself because you're the only self you're ever going to be. Bye!